the difference between a thriving career and a stagnant one as a software engineer comes down to the choices you make now. Are you doing what it takes to stand out or are you blending in with the rest? The tech industry is moving faster than ever and the skills that were enough last year might not be enough today. If you want to be noticed, land the best projects and grow in your career, you can't afford to stay in your comfort zone anymore. Standing out isn't just about coding better, it's about becoming the kind of engineer everyone wants on their team. By following these six steps, you will be able to secure better job offers, gain meaningful recognition from peers and build a career where you are always in demand. AI is no longer a futuristic concept, but it's an integral part of the software engineering world today. Whether it's automating workflows, writing polyplate code or using it as a rubber duck, Engineers who leverage AI tools have a significant advantage. Ignoring this trend is like choosing to code with one hand tied behind your back. The reason mastering AI matters is simple. It can make you exponentially more productive. For example, tools like GitHub Copilot can help you write code faster and understand how and why your code base works as it does. Some might say that relying too much on AI will make your skills obsolete, but the opposite is true. Engineers who understand how to effectively work with AI will be the ones shaping its future. On the other hand, those who ignore it risk falling behind as companies increasingly demand proficiency in AI-driven development. And no, you don't need to become an AI researcher to benefit. Just understanding how to integrate it into your day-to-day -day tasks will set you apart. So when you integrate the use of AI to your day-to-day -day work, you'll save time, boost your productivity and deliver better results for your team. It's a skill that puts you ahead of 90% of your peers who are still catching up. Soft skills aren't optional anymore. They are essential for every software engineer who wants to thrive. They include teamwork, empathy and emotional intelligence, all critical in modern collaborative environments. And the truth is, being technically strong will only get you so far if you can't work well with others. The misconception is that software engineering is a solitary job, but the reality is far different. Every successful project depends on clear collaboration between developers, designers and stakeholders. So if you are great at debugging code but terrible at resolving conflicts or negotiating with product manager, you are not going to stand out. Some engineers dismiss soft skills thinking, as long as I do my job, it doesn't matter. But that's a mistake, because companies value engineers who not only deliver but also elevate their teams. Take Google for example. Their research highlights that the best performing teams are the ones with high psychological safety and this only happens when team members have strong soft skills. So developing your soft skills will help you build better relationships, increase your influence at work and open doors to leadership opportunities. It's how you move from being just an engineer to being someone everyone wants to work with. Clear communication is one of the most underrated skills in software engineering. Whether you are explaining a technical concept to a non-technical audience or documenting your code, the ability to communicate effectively can make or break your career. It's the glue that holds teams and projects together. Think about this. You might write the cleanest, most efficient code in the world, but if no one understands what you're doing or why, it's basically useless. Strong communication isn't just about talking, it's about listening, clarifying and ensuring everyone is on the same page. The best engineers I know can simplify complex ideas without sounding condescending. Some people argue that I'm not in the client facing role so communication doesn't matter. But that's short-sighted. Whether you are presenting to a manager or mentoring a junior developer, communication impacts everything. Teams with poor communication waste time, money and energy fixing misunderstandings that could have been avoided. So when you are a strong communicator, your ideas carry weight, your projects run smoother and your reputation grows as someone who delivers value beyond code. 
Your personal brand will matter as much as your resume. A well-curated LinkedIn profile, a portfolio of projects, or even a blog showcasing your expertise can set you apart from the competition. The goal is simple. Make sure opportunities find you instead of the other way around. But why does this matter? Well, because the best jobs and projects are often never posted. They are offered to people who are visible and credible in their field. If you are worried you don't have enough to share, start small. Write about the problems you are solving at work or the tools you use. Some engineers say, I'm not an influencer, I don't need a brand. But that's not the point. You are not building a brand to go viral. You are building it to showcase your unique strengths. For example, if you are great at optimizing website accessibility, make sure people know that. Your brand helps recruiters, hiring managers and collaborators remember you for what you bring to the table. So remember, a strong personal brand brings opportunities your way. Whether it's a new job, a speaking engagement or connections with like-minded engineers. It's a long-term investment with exponential returns. Burnout isn't just a buzzword. It's a real threat to software engineers. Long hours, tight deadlines and constant context switching can take a toll on your mental and physical health. Not to mention the fact that most of the day we sit in front of a computer. The best engineers know how to sustain their productivity without sacrificing their well-being. You might think that I can push through the de this deadline and rest later. But you know what? Later often doesn't come. Neglecting your health leads to exhaustion, poor decision making and eventually medicore performance. On the flip side, small consistent habits like regular exercise, proper sleep and disconnecting from work can keep you sharp and focused. Some people say self-care is a luxury, but it's not. It's a necessity. For instance, a well-rested engineer will always outperform someone who's running on caffeine and four hours of sleep. Your work is only as good as the mind and body behind it. So when you take care of yourself, you'll not only perform better, but also enjoy your work more. Longevity in your career depends on this balance. It's easy to get lost in the technical side of engineering, optimizing code, fixing bugs or debating on technicalities of solving a given problem. But the best engineers always ask, how does this help the customer? Because at the end of the day, every line of code should serve a purpose. Focusing solely on technical perfection can quickly backfire. You might build an elegant solution that no one actually wants or needs. For example, a beautifully optimized feature is pointless if it confuses the end user or solves a problem no one cares about. On the other hand, engineers who prioritize the customer create products that people love. Some argue that that's the product manager's job, not mine. But engineers who think this way miss the bigger picture. Understanding the customer makes your work more impactful and positions you as a strategic asset and not just a coder. So by keeping the customer always in mind, you'll deliver work that matters and stand out as someone who understands both the technical and the human side of software engineering. I really hope that you found this video at least somewhat helpful. And if you did, please hit the like button below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.